Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of Slow Loops. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, hold on, 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, I would have had this out earlier today when I got home, because I got home around like 6.30, I <laughs> and I got sleepy. <laughs> So, of course, this is going to come out tomorrow morning. But next Friday, we should be good. It just depends on what time I get off on my new job. Oh, are you guys in separate classes? Yeah. Oh, ow, Cody. Well, in a way, he only has to be, Koharu. You will literally see her at home and at lunch. Excuse me, oh my gosh. Koi? It's a great name. She seems very chill. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, we're going to see the opening today. Oh, she get adorable. <laughs> no. <gasps> Car. <laughs> Hold on. Did Koi just dress up like Nico from Love Live? This might be like the coziest opening for the start of the new year. Like, oh, like, mmm. Look like somebody's got something beaten up right now. Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, this is so freaking adorable. And I already like the song from last week, even though we got to hear it as an end credit song. But it also makes me excited to see what the end credit song is like. The more I hear that, like, I'm getting feels to Magical Girl Rising Project. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, it is going to take some time, though, boo. Where are you two going? Oh. Of course. Like, deadass. Koi's voice is so familiar to me. I just cannot think of who it is. Oh. Yeah, for your, you know, fishing rod and such. Two fish. 
the heck is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> go hard Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get you, Koi, but like, hey, you know what? Uh, at least you get money. Makes you wonder how much you're getting paid from your dad. Well, of course, in a way, almost like everyone's mom and dad is weird. Oh, that's cute. And so you've kept it ever since. Oh. Kohar. She's so cute when she's jealous, like, oh my god. <laughs> I think she wants to take you to see your dad. Oh, I never would have thought that. I really thought she was probably going to take her to see her dad's grave and be like, you know, Okasa, oh no, Odosa, like, this is my new sister. It's a tower. <laughs> mm. 
Maybe when you were shorter. That's it. Her dad's voice even feels familiar to me. I swear to God. Don't make me sin for a dead man. Stop it. Only because of his voice. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, baby. No. <laughs> yeah, he's right. That's why sometimes you will never see people come home for dinner <laughs> or with the dinner until like way into the evening because you know it, it takes a lot of time and patient patience and if you don't got that which I have patience. I just don't. I'm not into the fishing thing. I I can see why people are in love with it, and it, hell, it's gonna be like laid back camp with this show. Once again, where it's like week one. I'm not really into fishing. Week twelve. I kind of want to go fish now. No, that's not gonna happen. I like her hat though. It's so cute. <laughs> Are we hiding from the UV rays? Ah, got you. Good job. That's a little complicated. See, once again. I ain't got the time nor the patience and complicated. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Good job. Mm-mm. Girl, same. See, me and Koi, lazy. 
We don't want to do the work. We just want to, you know, chill and we can just go buy fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't really want to poke anybody in the face or the eye or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For baby's look. No. Uh. <gasps> nice job, Kyle. Yeah, sorry, we were talking. What if it's a boot? <laughs> it's okay. You just try again. Yeah. Heart's gonna bug me. <laughs> mhm. Mm ah, that's a good spot. <laughs> no. Yeah, Koharu is a bit unique. She's very different, but at the same time, she is similar to other girls, just like her <clears throat> Kirby Yui from Kon. That one chick from New Game, um, maybe even Xiaomi Cole from the Demon, uh, the Demon Girl Next Door. <laughs> or Xiaomi Cole's little sister. It depends. Oh, Koi. You ready to go home? I get the face. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. Oh, Koi. That'd be the worst day of her life, of course. Oh, baby. One of the worst things that you could ever think of. <laughs> oh, coy baby. Oh. 
Oh my god, look at her. Precious baby girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Call her! <laughs> yeah, unique and an adorable little airhead. Like Toru, basically. Oh, cool, Haru. I'm sorry, baby. Maybe next time? smile just warm my heart <laughs> mhm mm yes we need like one whole episode where they're out shopping they go to the mall they hang out <laughs> yeah, she is. I think a lot of people would be worried about Yori's mom remarrying because you don't really know what the other person is like. <laughs> but they'll be fine. They're perfect for each other. Yeah. Okay. Literally, Koi. Best girl. Straight up. Straight up. Like, oof. That is the best girl material right there. She kind of gives me feels a little bit, especially with the fact is that this girl is not one with sun and sunlight. And especially with the fact is that, you know, her going out with not only her father, Koharu, and um, Hiori out fishing. And she's not the type of person who likes to fish. But she will still be there for fun. And, you know, for the experience and stuff. But especially with the fact that she had an umbrella. Hell, that gave me freaking Hanajima fruits basket feels once again. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I mean, me too. I'm so happy. Like, oh my god. You know, going back also to week one and thinking that how was this relationship between Hiori and Koharu was going to really work. Because of the fact is, yes, they're new sisters. And sometimes you're thinking, okay, are these two going to get along? Are we going to have a day where they're going to argue and such? Very much like, mm, kind of citrus s, except, you know, the fact is those two were in love with each other and ish like that. Um, but typical, you know, when a step-sibling is coming into life and you don't really know how to feel. And the fact is that, you know, Koi was like, oh my god, that's so cute. Ah! <laughs> the fact is that, you know, Koi is literally like, you know what, there's nothing to worry about. They both fit together like a puzzle piece. So you automatically knew that those two were going to eventually get along. Even though I kind of would like to see, and we're kind of getting it in a way where these two have a little spat here and there, but it's more like cutesy-esque in a way where it's like, oh, we can disagree to agree on some things or whatever because, you know, as step-siblings or siblings in general, you're going to have a day where, yeah, you're going to argue with each other. And you argue with your significant... <laughs> I'm about to say significant other. Wrong word. <laughs> 
step sibling or sibling because you are um, not you argue because you would love for them and you care for them and you're like some people do it because it's like no I'm right you're wrong blah 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 sit your butt down and listen to me because I'm the oldest blah 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 and such but I really thought this was a cute episode yes I'm sad that Koharu didn't catch anything but you know she's still a newbie and she's very you know at the point where Kirby was and you know in season one of Layback Camp, I never would have thought that going into season, or really going into Haya Camp and then eventually season two, that we were ever really going to get the day to see Kirby go on a camping trip by herself, even though Rin and her sister, you know, technically stalked her the whole entire night, but, but in a good way. Because they wanted to know that she was okay and that she was able to rough it on her own and such. And I think we're going to see that with Koharu. We're going to have a moment where, as of now, from episode 2 to whatever, where, yeah, Koharu's not going to be able to catch anything. But I think the more she practices at it, the better she's going to get to the point where probably by the end of this show, she's going to be able to catch a whole bunch of fish or even anything else. She's going to be like the rest of us when we all started fucking playing Animal Crossing. And at first we all got damn boots or little freaking tires. And the next thing you know, we got big ass sharks and whales and, um, what the hell is that thing? Uh, a whale, shark, and anything else that you can really think of. Me, I'm not even done playing that dang game. You know, I haven't played that game in whoa, a couple of, mm, when was the last time I played in Animal Crossing? I think by the time when the new, D with the DLC, yeah, because I haven't even bought the DLC yet and I really want that. But, you know, one day she's going to be able to, you know, go fishing and get a damn whale shark. And she's going to be like, woohoo! <laughs> and then it's going to be like, there she blows. <laughs> and I'm just going to be over here like, this child. Like how it was when I caught a whale shark. I was like, um, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is where I actually be towards episode two of Slow Loop. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode three. Bye, guys.